So, so if you keep only the first order Taylor series uh, in, in your in your approximation, the update function keeps decreasing. To get a minimum, you need at least the second order derivative, right? So, so the second order derivative determines how far you can go. Okay, so that is. Uh, uh, th so, for example, if you do steepest descent, uh, one of these algorithms is to actually determine the step size by performing a line search in in the space of LK, right? So the line search basically is a method of one-dimensional optimization that minimizes the function over this one particular direction. But uh, uh, if you want to if you want to take a larger step, right? Uh, if you want to obtain a, a a larger drop in the objective function per step, then it may not be the direction that gives you the best uh, drop for a small step. And to figure out that out, you need the Hessian. The Hessian, uh, the, uh, the the Newton's method of doing optimization is is trying to figure out. If you are allowed to take not a small step, but a step that actually minimizes the objective function, following a quadratic approximation of the objective function using the gradient and the hessian, then which direction is the best? So that's Newton's method. Steepest descent is uh, if you only have the gradient, and I want to take a small step, which direction is the best? Newton's method, if is I know the gradient and I know the hessian, and if I want to take as a big step as to minimize the second order Taylor series approximation, which direction is the best? All right, so that's that's basically kind of the overall idea. The mathematical details, uh, you, you sit down and uh, do half an hour of math, uh, you're gonna get uh, the formula you find in Wikipedia. So, so we need the Hessian for both Newton method and steepest descent. No, we don't need it for steepest descent. That, then, how do we decide the best step size? You do line search. Okay. Right. So, so uh, advantage of steepest descent is you don't need the Hessian. And uh, for example, in like uh, all these machine learning uh, algorithms. Uh, you don't have the hessian, and if, even if you have the hessian, it turns out to be the 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 amount of benefits provided by the hessian divided by the computation cost of obtaining the hessian turns out to be not worth it. So, so it's not that it's not helpful. It's just a, a, it takes so much time to compute that the additional benefit doesn't seem to be worth it. So so people just use a, a steepest descent. So. The, the line search algorithm, if you remember, is that uh, you, you search I mean, in the logarithmic space. Every time you either, if you overshoot, you multiply it by half or 0.6 or whatever. If you undershoot, if you're here, you multiply it by 2 or 1.8 or something. You basically you search logarithmically uh, and you decide uh, if you are neither undershooting nor overshooting. Overshooting means you are so large that the object function is either increased from here or decreased only by a insignificant value compared to the predicted decrease by the derivative right so so if you are over here then your derivative predicts your objective function is here but you actually get to here so the amount of decrease actual decrease compared to the predicted decrease is too small you decide you are Overshooting. Uh, undershooting means the the predicted uh, a decrease is very close to the actual decrease, right? So so that's a, that's one of the popular ways of doing line search to just uh, to search over logarithmic space and figuring out uh, uh, a location that you are neither undershooting nor overshooting. All right. Any other questions? No, so uh, let's. Uh, I will see you on Wednesday. I'll make sure uh, prepare for addressing all of these uh, uh, suggested review points and uh, also some of the points I think is worth reviewing. All right, cool. <coughs>